Hey guys, it is me again. Today is Thursday, the uh, 23rd, August 23rd. Makes it day 236 on our Daily Bread Project 2012. Yep, make sure I was right. As always, it is good to be here tonight, guys. As you can see, I forgot, to be honest, till I turned the camera on. I want to say I'm wearing a white shirt tonight. It's not completely white. I like, went out in the garage and did a little TIG welding, and it looks like i got some stuff on it. got some dirt on it. But uh, One thing about it, I've got four of these shirts. So uh, <laughs> Every time you place an order with bodybuilding.com that's over $75, they give you a free gift. So, uh, and to be honest about it, most of the free gifts stink. They're like 99 cent trinkets. Uh, but you can pick a t-shirt, you know, and these are actually pretty good shirts. They're, uh, they're gilding, I think, brand, and they're good and soft. They're actually thinner than most t-shirts. You know, they're real, real comfortable and real stretchy. You know, they just feel real good, especially when you're working out. So, uh, so like I said, I think I got four of them. Dad wears one or two of them while, you know, like while he's, uh, sleeping at night he'll put one on uh so anyway i guess it ain't no big deal getting it dirty it'll come out but what i was just trying to say guys is you know because of this white shirt and because i'm late i'm not gonna lie about it i'm late tonight i had stuff to do out in the garage guys i've been working on a motorcycle out there a little dirt bike uh, i've been trying to charge a battery up working on the carburetor on it had to put the exhaust back on it and like i said i've been tig welding some stuff so uh, I'm just running late, so uh, as always, I just want to pre appreciate, yeah, I do appreciate, I want to thank, and that's what I was trying to say, I do appreciate, and I want to thank you guys for being here, as always, um, normal stuff, guys, just pray for us, pray uh, you guys will see this tomorrow and tonight, just pray, um, we got that van, you know, the van I was telling you guys about, that, um, you know, we've already done the AC job on it once, and the people still ain't paid us for the first job. And, you know, that whole deal, we had to order another compressor because the first compressor was leaking. Well, anyway, we got it all put back together today, and, and everything turned out good. The only thing I'm afraid of, we, we checked this new compressor, and right around where it goes together, this compressor, it showed to be a little green, too, like the dye was leaking out of it. Uh, so I don't know. We're hoping maybe that just when uh, when the boy was putting it together, because you fill it up, you put oil in it up top, and we're hoping that maybe when he just bolted that on, that some of the oil ran down and ran around it. We checked it with a leak detector. We've got a halogen leak detector. It's called that. It actually, it's a sniffer. It, it actually pulls in air, and it can detect you know if you've got refrigerant leaks. And and I ran that sniffer around it, and it never did. You know, it never did alert to a leak like it was leaking any freon out of it. So. I don't know. It, I just I pray that I pretty much have decided that if we go into mall to work and, and start this thing up and, and the air is still there, it's still good because it was the leak before was big enough when the line was busted. But well between that and the compressor was leaking the first one. Uh you know, by the time he would get home uh, that one day, by the time he got home it leaked out. And then one time I think uh it was, you know, by the time um I think by the next day anyways, what I'm trying to say, so just pray, guys, that that thing will be all right because, you know, if it is, we can call them and say, hey, it's done. Come bring us a check. Uh, so just just pray for that, guys. Uh, pray still. Like I said, the boys still not brought me the money on the four-wheeler tires. You know, like I've said before. Well, you know, I told Dad the other day, me and him was talking about it, and I said, you know, I, and I was kind of joking, but I said, you know, I, I hope there's a special, special place in heaven for, you know, doing stuff for people for free and letting people walk all over you. Yeah, I was a little bit aggravated. I'm not going to lie about it. We'd, we'd put some motorcycle tires on a guy's bike that was one of those guys, and I think I mentioned this the other night, that he'd have been one of the last guys on the earth I would have bet would have went somewhere else and bought motorcycle tires, you know, and brought to us to put them on. And then on top of that, Dad put them on for almost nothing. I mean, he put them on for about half price of what he'd charge anybody else. Uh, so it's kind of the same deal with this. I'm letting this boy have this set of wheels, tires, and lug nuts dead at my cost. I'm not making one dime on them. And, you know, he don't, I don't know if he, I guess he just don't realize how bad he's killing me by not coming and paying for them, you know. He, he, he said he could pay half when he picked them up, and I said, well, that's fine. You know, getting that half back would help me. Uh, but he's not brought me any money yet. He said, tomorrow I'll make a week late. 
So just pray for that, guys. Pray, you know, that he can come do it. You know, I know anyway that, uh, you know, the Lord's going to take care of us. We just got to have that faith. So just pray for all that, guys. And, <clears throat> um, what else? I'm trying to think if there's any other jibber-jabber. Uh, I'm going to try to make a video, guys. I might try to do it Saturday if I can. If we don't work out, my workout partner's sick tonight. He, well, he had a headache and he didn't feel good. Matter of fact, he didn't even lift really tonight. He did a few warm-up things. I did everything. Uh, you know, he said if he was feeling better by Saturday, we'd work out. But if not, you know, probably wouldn't. So i got to wait and see on that. But if we don't work out, I'm going to try to maybe do you a shooting video. Maybe show my new coat. Uh, not the coat. The, uh, the coat replica. The, the Uberti. The Italian made uh, cowboy gun. So I may show you guys that. Um, so yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. Oh, I did go up on my bench again tonight. Uh, I tell you guys, I just about broke a big milestone tonight. Uh, my buddy said, go over there. He said, warm up. Go get on the bench. He said, I, I, I got a feeling you're going to go up tonight. So I warmed up and went over there. And we put 140 on the bar, and I did it like five or six times, you know, just to kind of get loosened up. He put 160 on the bar. He said, do that twice. So I did it twice, you know, no problem. And he put 180 on the bar. And that was my max. You know, that's my max that I done last week. And, and and really then at the 180 max was, it was kind of sketchy. I was shaky, and but I got it. I mean, it was, it was legit, but it was sketchy. Uh, so anyway, we put 180 on the bar, and I just, you know, pushed it up no problem. I was like, wow, you know. So he put 185 on the bar, went up five pounds, did it good. Put 190 on the bar. Just slowed me down just a little bit, you know, but I pushed 190 right up. And he said, you know what? He said, you're going to do 200 tonight. And he put 200 on it. And I really think if he would have put 195 on it, I would have got 195. But he put 200 on it. And I don't know if I psyched myself up too much or if it was where I was, you know, had already bent so much. I was wore down. I don't know what it was, but I couldn't hardly do 200. I mean, he had to, he had to finger it, you know, to help me get it up. So I truly believe, guys, that maybe by not this week coming but the week after that i will be 200 pounds or over on my bench and that's kind of a milestone that's what he was talking about another guy come down there he got all excited you know he looked at you like wow that's actually quite a bit of weight he said who's doing that and uh, philip said he is and he's like wow he said you know but you know i'm just tickled to go to win up to the 190 i mean i that's going up 10 pounds in a week so you know that's pretty good so anyway guys let's get to the important thing tonight i didn't mean to make this video this long and I want to try to get to the important thing, and you know, that is the Word of God as quick as possible. So anyway, let's get to that. 2 Timothy, guys, chapter 2, verse 22. Here we go. It says, Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strifes. Guys, you know, one thing this is talking about here is just troublemaking. You know, foolish and unlearned questions avoid, I like it saying, you know, it, it basically just talking stuff that, that's not going to do anything but, but but cause trouble. You know, they do gender strife, that's what he's talking about here, you know, and I tell you guys, there's a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people that they love doing that, they love stirring up, they love they love getting people riled up, and getting people fighting against each other, you know, it's just not any good. Verse 24, and the servant of the Lord must not strive. But be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If God, peradventure, will give them repentance to the knowledge of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who are taken captive by him at his will. Now guys, we're going to go on to chapter 3, so that's Second Timothy 3, 1, here we go. This know also, because, you know, he just, he, it's the same deal, you know, it's it's basically the same subject, the same paragraph that Paul, he's keeping going here, they just kind of, you know, when they put the Bible together, they sometimes they put these splits, they put chapters and stuff in odd places, really, to, to where when it was originally wrote, it wasn't, it wasn't broke up like that, but anyway, this know also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, or covetous, Boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Oh, guys, does this not describe people today? Without natural affection, 
truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce despisers of those that are good. Guys, look at the opposition that we're getting today in the world. You know, uh, I was walking through the house of the night, and David Letterman, his dad had fell asleep on that channel, and David Letterman was on, and I just stood there for a second, and I honestly, guys, I don't remember what he was talking about, but it was just, you know, it, it just, ooh, it just bothered me so much, I said, you know, that's the thing, it's, this this world has got flipped upside down, the people like him, the, the, these movie stars, these these people that are evil, They've got all the power, they've got all the control, they've got all the influence, and they hate us. And all they do is make fun of people that believe in God. He was he was t making fun of, of one of the senators or congressmen or one of them that had went and was uh, had took a, a, a swim or stroll or got in it or something in the uh, in one of the rivers in Jerusalem. He had went to the Holy Land, I guess. And, and I guess he may, I, I, may be a Christian. I'm not for sure. I don't even remember his name. But but David Letterman was making fun of that. You know. And like I said, I just thought, I said, man, how much longer is God going to let this go? Seen on the internet today <laughs> that uh, there's a uh, Kristen Bell. You know, she's a movie star. You know, I used to watch her. She, she used to be in a show years ago. And I don't remember the name of it now. But I kind of liked it and watched it a little bit. She's got this boyfriend, Dak Shepard, I think's his name. I think maybe he uh, he got came out famous with, uh, I don't remember, I, I'm trying to think maybe that, in part of my language, guys, the Jackass crew, you know, the, the, doing the movies and stuff. But I don't remember if it was them or not. Anyway, they just, their guy got a movie coming out. Anyway, they're, enga they're engaged to be married, and I seen on Yahoo, it just said something about they're engaged to be married, but they're not going to get married click here to find out why and I clicked I, I mean I honestly didn't have a clue I'm like what's going on here and they were interviewed them and they were basically saying oh yeah we're not going to get married until it's legal for everyone to be married and as soon as they said that I knew where they was going with it I just clicked stop off the page you know they were going to work when it was legal for homosexuals to be married everywhere they were they were going to get married again guys it just oh It'll make your blood pressure go up just thinking about these things. How this world, this country, well, I'm, I was going to say this country especially, but ever these other countries are as bad as we are or worse. But guys, it's just it's awful, and that's what this is talking about. This Bible, this 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 scripture that was written, that was wrote two thousand years ago, or nineteen hundred years ago, or nineteen hundred fifty years ago, or whenever this was wrote, it's predicting it. You know, it's predicting that this is going to happen. It's saying despisers are those that are good. You know, everything's going to be flipped upside down. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. That's today. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Anyway, guys, that's where we're going to stop tonight. This video has been longer than I wanted it to be. Me with this white shirt on, it's going to be a pretty big file. But anyway, guys, I felt we've had a good time here tonight. Uh... You know, like I said, guys, I hate to see our country and, and the world in the shape that it's in, but the Bible predicted it. You know, the Bible says it's going to happen. This is some of it it's talking about here. You know, and, and they're in that one, uh, there, guys, where it's, uh, let's see, without natural affection, in, the, in that verse uh, 3, chapter 3, verse 3 there, where it says without natural affection. You know, guys, one thing that that's talking about is, homosexuality without natural affection natural affection is for a man to have affection towards a woman and a woman to have affection towards a man and you might as well throw that out the window today you know uh, now you're an oddball if you're a straight person today but anyway guys God's not going to put up with it much longer because that's one thing that disgusts him I think more than anything between that and the abortions that we do uh, you know the, 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 the reckless of, you know the people just don't care anymore about human life They'll save a dog, they'll save a whale, they'll save any kind of animal, you know. But if you're a person and you're starving to death, or if you're a person and you're dying, they don't care. Anyway, guys, i got to get off my rant because it, it, it's this video is getting too long. I love you all, guys. Good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow, tomorrow night, guys. Just pray for us. Pray for work tomorrow, like I said. Pray for those things. Pray that the Lord will give us what we need, you know, that way I can draw a payday and, and we can meet our obligations, so. I love you all. Good Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow night, guys. Until I see you all again, good night and God bless.